What's up guys, welcome back. Today I am going to do a fish tank review and then later on in the video we'll be going to Petco and getting our new hermit crab. And so I'm going to be putting the picture of the fish tank right here. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this fish tank, I found it on Offer Up. It's not good. They need to keep start filling up the water at least. It looks like there's like two or maybe three blood parrot cichlids. And that is way too many for like... It looks like a 30 gallon feels full, but it's like not even halfway full, so it's probably like a 10 or a 15 gallon. Uh, it is very, very, very dirty, so that is a big false. Um, I just don't like the tank in general. Probably doesn't have a filter or anything, so I'm just gonna go zero out of 10 or five, whatever lowest setting I can go, just go. Okay, so this fish tank is, oh, sorry I'm tired guys, it looks like about like a 40 gallon, could be 50, 60, 70, I'm not that good at judging the sizes of fish tanks, I do know that that is a ton of neon tetras, and I know that neon tetras are one inch, and the good rule of thumb is an inch per gallon. But they have all those plants there to where, you know, it's very beautiful. The colors on the neon tetras are very nice. And I'm going to rate this a 4.9 out of 5. Just because, like, just neon tetras aren't the best for me. To me, at least. I don't like just neon tetras. Now, if you threw in some, you know, like black skirt tetras, gold skirt tetras, you know, maybe a rosy red tetra in there, possibly some mollies, guppies, kind of makes it, make it a community tank, five out of five, no problem, but just neon tetras, I'm not a big fan of, let's go to the next one, okay, so this one I'm really back and forth about, the actual design of it looks decent, looks like there's some decent live plants in there. Um, I would not recommend putting a beta in there. I mean, it would live, but yet it wouldn't be the best, you know. But if you wanted to put a shrimp or two, possibly like some sort of neon tetra, eh, maybe a neon tetra. I don't know, really. Uh, I would recommend just shrimp, uh, that probably actually be a good hermit crab if you could hermit crab place because they don't need a big tank actually they need about a one gallon tank so uh, yeah. I'd give that a and just because they have the beta I'm gonna give that a uh, three just because I'm not a big fan of putting betas in such small tanks you know and that tank has a lot more potential than what it, they're giving it. So let's go to the next one, and that'll be the last one. Then we'll go to the pet store. Okay, so this fish tank, it looks very, very awesome. It's kind of weird, the picture of it, I guess, just because you can't tell what size it is, but I'm pretty sure it's big enough because just how vibrant the colors are. You can tell they're getting fed, like, you know, like, filet mignon of fish food um you can tell they're being very very well to care of um i'm not too big of a fan on salt water a hermit crab is my first salt water tank and i've never had a hermit crab before and i'm gonna turn it into fresh water because i heard that when you make them salt water they're all, they don't live quite as long just because something with their gills salt like almost erodes it away so i'm gonna turn it into fresh water but um i like this tank though it's very very nice beautiful beautiful coral i know that there's mostly hard coral 
I do see a lot of soft coral, um, beautiful fish, uh, and five out of five. I almost gave it a 4.9 just because they didn't have a Nemo, but you know, I'll, I'll let it slip just because it is a very beautiful tank. I'm joking, guys. It is a very, very awesome tank. I love it. I love that tank. Um, I wish I could keep up with that, but I will see y'all guys at Petco, hopefully. Hopefully Petco. And if not Petco, we'll probably be at my house showing y'all the fish tank. Then we'll go to Petco. Alright. Bye guys, I'll see y'all. I'll be at Petco when y'all see me next. <laughs>
I don't know. 20 bucks for fertilizer? I don't know. I've never even bought it. You spend money, period, on fertilizer. Or you could get a molly or guppies and natural fertilizer. You know, and it's just, and you get mollies and guppies. It's a win-win with this kind of stuff. It's where, you know, I, I love it, you know. And I, I can't afford uh, fertilizer anyways. I can't. I mean, this is why, like, this whole channel, if you see anything on this channel, it's not on a high budget at all. I'm the kind of person that tries to keep everything on a low budget. Like, I, you know, like, I'm trying to make the best quality videos on a budget. That's why these plants, uh, I do not have any store-bought plants in my fish tank. Yeah, zero store-bought plants in my fish tank. See, like, these, like, little ones right here. I found out the canal, and I quarantined in them for a couple weeks. That's what I did with those. These little Amazonian swords. I bought two Amazonian swords. This is the third generation of Amazonian swords, or Amazon swords, or whatever. To where if you look in here, none of these live plants are store-bought. So, this will be that's what I like to be my channel about, more or less, is just, you know, you don't have to be rich to own an aquarium. You don't. You really don't. That's the point of my channel, you know. I'm not rich at all. But I make it work, you know. I go through and, you know, I make these little budget challenge videos and whatnot. And so, you know, I try to just prove. You don't have to be a billionaire or whatever to own a fish tank. Uh, so, uh, that's kind of what my channel is about, this hermit crab tank, uh, it's the actual little tub, it cost me 99 cents, 99 cents, and you have a fish tank, honestly, or you could get a tub for like 4 bucks, yeah, like 4 bucks, and you can get like a 10 gallon tub, 4 bucks, that's big enough for a beta, and you won't even need a filter, honestly, you just gotta you know, kind of get tight on the weekly water changes. Eh, you don't even need to. Maybe like, I mean, you just gotta take care of it more or less, but that's off topic, but, you know, you can literally, you can go on a budget. If y'all like these budget videos, tell me. But, you know, it's just, uh, I'm trying to do this kind of stuff for y'all. And I guess I want to just kind of sit down and talk about this. Just because I want to let y'all know. To where, you know, if you're thinking, mm, I, I want to get a fish tank. No, I can't. I can't afford it. Like, you save up money and do all this. If you can save up, like I said, four bucks. No, I'll take that back. If you can save ten, ten dollars. Ten dollars. If you save up ten dollars, you can get you a... Uh, tub, a 10 gallon tub, and a decent little betta fish, male betta fish, which are really pretty, you know, and for 10 bucks, I want, I want you to save up 10 bucks, you can do this, a lot of people say, you're wrong, you're wrong, you can't do that, yes you can, you know, you just gotta be a good fish keeper, you know, that's why I'm, I wanted to tell y'all, y'all don't have to, I can't afford this, you know, I know a lot of people out there, they can't, they he really can't afford this. But yet, if you're sitting there, you know, and you have not the best job, maybe, but a decent job, you know. Like, <laughs> I'll put it this way. In America, if you're making minimal pay, you can still, I think you, I'm pretty sure if you, if you pay your money right, you can eat ramen for a week, for instance. You buy you ramen noodles and eat ramen for a week and you can get you a fish tank. That's the thing. And so, I'm getting really off topic about this, but I just kind of want to share that with y'all. But let's get to the hermit crabs because they're starting to move around. There's one of them that's kind of starting to move around. This one. Let's see if the glare. Oh, there we go. 
that one I'm, is the one I'm worried about. Let's check him out. Yeah, he's alive. You can definitely tell that. It's hard to get it to focus. Y'all can see him moving. So, he looks pretty good. So, this is my new hermit crab tank. And I hope y'all liked today's video. I know it was everywhere. Like, it went from that fish tank review, Petco, to me just talking about budgeting fish tanks, you know, and all that. I know it's very, very crazy. But uh, I hope y'all like it. I'm trying just to pump out as many videos as I can. I am just like trying, 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 trying so hard. So uh, please like the video, you know. Like I said, it doesn't really help me with <laughs> my money or whatever. You know, that, that's how you know when you go up to someone or you find a YouTube channel and they're not making money or any mo or very little money. For instance, Tobias Holstein, he loves what he does. It's not because he's planning on making it rich. Like he's like me. He, I'm, we don't plan on getting it big. If we do, <laughs> awesome. But we are doing what we love. You know, Tobias, for instance, he is an awesome one. Music maker, singer. He's very good. He is good at fish keeping, slash pond keeping. He is just an all-around, he's very good at the guitar. You can, like, literally pick up any guitar, not even have to tune it, really. You can just pick it up, like, get the knobs, and just turn it a little bit, and just pick it up and play it. Like, that's incredible. And you're sitting here, and he's just, he's making these videos, and he has very good editing and all this, and... He's not making, well, he is, make, he is making money. He is making, I don't know, not, not much, I'll put it that way. He's not making much money, sadly. He, he should, considering what his talents are, but he's not, he's not making much money. Uh, so, you know, I want you all to understand that there's... Not everybody in the world is just wanting to make money. You know, to where that's me. I love producing these videos, and it's insane to me. I have eight subscribers. A lot of y'all are thinking there's people out there with 80 million, you know. And I'm not sitting here like, good for those people, but I have eight subscribers. I have eight people that went to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. That is insane to me just it, it makes me want to cry almost you know and like when I get a like on my video I'm like someone actually does like my video you know if I get if I get 10 views I'm happy I'm like 10 be, 10 people took the time out of their day and just came in just for no reason like y'all this is literally about to make me cry for no reason 10 people took their time out of their day to sit down and watch my YouTube video. That is just insanity to me. To where, you know, that's why I thank y'all so much. You know, if, comment down below. Comment. You know, just comment anything. You know, if you... I'll... How about this? If you comment something in this video, I'll mention you or whatever. I'll mention you next video. Just to show people... You know, my, like, three people that watch my video. <laughs> Just to show people that, you know, you're a very dedicated subscriber. Subscriber, you know, I can do that. You know, so, comment. Comment anything. Tell me what you had for dinner, whatever. <gasps> do your favorite fish. You know, tell me what I should make next. Please, you know, I have trouble coming up with content. <laughs> but, I just love that I... I can sit on the couch, think. I think this is what I'm gonna do today. I make a video and I at least get one view every video. 
and that's insane to me. Thank you guys so much. I'm about to go, and I will see y'all next video. I don't know what it is, but I haven't even edited the downtown video because every time I edit something, I can't hold back, and I always post it. And I don't know why, but I haven't even edited that yet. I have to edit it, post it, so I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.